Hey, what's up, everybody? Just a quick video. Um, I found I found this article on CoinWorld.com and found it kind of interesting, um, especially since I just did a couple of videos recently about the United States Mint and a lot of their proof coinage, and how a lot of the their coins, you know, a year later or a couple years later, you can get some really good deals and discounts possibly from the secondary market or from your local coin shop, um, possibly even sales through some of the online dealers. So I found this article a bit, bit intriguing um, because it says here that, so these are the 2016 West Point proof American Silver Eagles. These are the 30th anniversary with the edge lettering and all that. Um, but the mint had a surplus Three years, over three years later, because we are in November of 2019, over three years later when they issued these coins, um, they have a surplus and they sold these coins at a discounted rate in a bulk and bulk transactions to their licensed um, dealers. So it says here, um, now these are the 30th anniversary with the edge lettering. And, you know, a lot of people bought these, thought they were pretty cool because it was like the first time that the U.S. Mint ever did like the edge lettering, I believe. Um, some people thought they were cool. Some people thought that they were a bit underwhelming um, because they could have been a little bit more creative and did, you know, like a privy mark or, or something like that. But um, instead, they did the edge lettering, which you... It, the engraving of the edge lettering wasn't even that deep, um, so um, so they could have done a much better job. Um, and a lot of people were hoping that they were gonna, you know, be a lower mintage and that. But instead of a lower mintage, they did the opposite, and they even minted a surplus um, where they were still available over three years uh, later. So. And it says here that rather than subject 183,000 unsold proof 2016 W West Point Mint American Silver Eagle, Eagle dollars to the standard detrashing protocol, the U.S. Mint recently sold coins at a discounted rate by, by sealed bid to bulk buyers. The sealed, the sealed bid generated $5.4 million in revenue for the Mint, uh, said the Mint's chief marketing and sales officer. During the Mint's fourth annual numismatic forum, October 24th and 25th in Philadelphia. Under usual protocol, once the sales totals are officially audited, any unsold products in the mint's inventory is usually detrashed. That is, coins are separated from their packaging and coins sent for melting and, you know, they reclaim the metal and probably reuse it and, and mint other coins. Um, and the packaging is shipped to a waste disposal facility um so anyway so i find it kind of interesting um if we go a little bit further down um it kind of tells you how they sold these um it said the mint required the mint required though a reserve um a reserve placed on each coin and each bid cover the mint's uh production cost the bidder um, would include an additional premium. Each bidder was required to place a minimum order of 1,000 coins. So I don't know how many. Well, it says here all. Uh, so I guess they had 183,781 coins were purchased by a total of four bidders. Um, let's see. The reported... 5.4 million gross revenue generated mean an average price of $29.38 for each coin. Now, I'm 
it doesn't say who the bidder was, but it does say down here, and you can, you know, go to the U.S. Mint web page and see how much uh, proof American Silver Eagles here in 2019 or for, you know, 2020 are going for, or I, I'm sorry, uh, 2019. Um, 53.95. I believe they're still at that same price. They might be a little bit higher. I think they might be 55, but uh, I can't remember. Um, but they sold each, um, each one came out to $29.38 in allotments of 1,000 or a minimum of 1,000. I guess they could have bought more. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see who the dealers actually were, but it does not say on here. But um, let me know what you guys think of this article. I'm going to paste the article in the description, but you can find it on coinworld.com overproduced the mint created a surplus of 2016 west point mint um american silver eagles with the edge lettering unbelievable let me know what you guys think in the comment section below um 29.38 it wouldn't have been nice to get some of these for that price huh all right everybody thanks for watching please like comment subscribe i'll talk to everybody on my next video Thanks a lot, everyone.